Hi everyone, Amanda here, organised reseller again. <laughs> um, this video today is about my auctions. Now, last week um, I had a load of uh, figures, 80s, 90s, noughties, and um, I decided that I was going to put on auction. Now, I've made my money back on them anyway, so all of it. So this was just going to be pure profit for me. But I just thought, you know, at the end of the day, rather than have them all hanging around, I might as well just like, do them with bundles. And obviously, I started um, them at um, £5 each, which, as you think, would probably be like, you know, madness. But actually, it turned out to be absolutely fantastic because they all sold for that kind of around between, not like some 15, but some sort of like 25. 30 and people actually did actually purchase more than one so some people purchased three bundles as well so I thought this video would be really quite fun for me to go through all the figures that I did sell also it's my Britain ones as well um, they've gone as well and just to show you that you can make money on auctions I know a lot of people do do buy it now which is great and fine and that's perfect I've done a couple of buy it nows myself um, but I do tend to just do auction myself um, a lot so yeah so um that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to turn you around in a minute um and with my new phone i can do a director's cut which means i can do half of me and half of you can see the absolute chaos in this room but yeah so i'll turn you around in a minute okay so as you can see guys without moving too much because i'll probably move myself if i do that as you can see <laughs> There's quite a lot, isn't there? So we have um, all these bags here are all bundles um, that I've got to send off um, to eBay and they're all sold on eBay as well. Um, I made after fees about 400 after fees. Um, so yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. That's 400 pounds that obviously pure profit for me because as I say, I've made all my money back on everything anyway um by selling them individually on ebay sort of like a couple of months before and so on so i do it every day anyway so yeah so i'm really pleased with that and as you can see i've got all this to list as well this is organized reseller not <laughs> can you see it all oh my god is that just loads of it it's all up here this is all my lego this is my bluetooth speaker that i haven't got out yet for um the summer and yeah there's just loads isn't there but all these bags will be going in the next couple of days so they'll all be shipped off so all the bags will be there so there will be a bit of room for me and i am waiting on some storage boxes because i am going to be doing some uh, an organizing video next week of organizing this place so that'll be fun so yeah um did a video as well yesterday which will be coming up soon um i went to um eastbourne and got some great bargains there as well um yeah and um yeah we'll just crack on um obviously uh you know i am a reseller uh go facebook marketplace you know auctions car boots anywhere i can really just to pick up a good bargain um and yeah and i'm going to go around sussex and surrey all this summer and um, film in different areas and pick a couple of things up won't be sometimes massive hauls but um at least you'll get to see some different beautiful areas of sussex so yeah so i'm looking forward to that and so without further ado we'll crack on with this and just like that guys we have an empty floor space so down and um, downstairs um is all of them so i'll go and show you now but yeah what a difference, hey? There's so many bags in here. So many bags in here. Yeah, so. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to go and uh, sort all that out downstairs now. So I'll see you in a minute. So guys, I'm down here now in my, my living room. Um, I've decided to obviously pack them all here because my, my, my eBay room in there is way too small to pack all this. So I'm going to do it in here. So yeah, so um, I, uh, I'll i start. Now, as I said before, um, I've obviously got quite a few here, so I'm going to just turn around and show you how many, and you can kind of get the gist of what I sold. 
So I'm just going to do that now. So as you can see, these are all of the bundles that I sold on eBay on auction. Seven day auction. Started last Wednesday. Put them all on Wednesday last week. They finished all this Wednesday, this week. And I'm going to be passing them all up today. So, um, and as I parcel, I'll, I'll show you what uh, I sold. So let's get to it. Hi guys, Amanda here again. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's not going to be as noisy uh, today as it was yesterday. So I couldn't video, unfortunately, yesterday. So I'm videoing today instead. So um, I'm going to be doing my um, auctions that I sold last week. I sold quite a lot. Um, so I think I told you in the video before. But um, this is going to be a two-day video, basically. Because I started yesterday, and unfortunately I had to finish today. But anyway, never mind. I don't want to hear all about all that. So yeah, so I'm just going to do these now. So I'm going to get them out one at a time. Um, video some of them, not all of them, because it would be boring. Because there's so many of them. Um, but yeah, just to give you an idea of what I've sold and how I do auctions and how I uh, package things as well. So this is just sort of like a, you know, what I sold and a bit of a package video. So hope you enjoy it guys. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll crack on with it. So guys, so I'm now going to um, get all my things. So uh, I apologize if I'm always gonna move sometimes away from the camera, but I just wanna keep stopping and starting all the time. So. Yeah, so just going to pop over here and pick this one up. So this one was a Britain's haul. So that's the Britain's one. So I'm going to be packing that up now. Um, I've got another phone, which is always handy, isn't it? For me to check on my eBay. Then this is what I always do check, just to see if it is okay. Go to selling, um, and then obviously there's 22 now that have paid. So just go down to it. And I've got a few Britain's bundles, so I know which ones they are. Um, and all I have to do is there's two people that, there's, well there's actually three people that have bought these ones. So, um, I'll just pop on the actual, because I know that I actually added a, I added a haystack to one of them, so that, and I knew then that's what I, I'd know, how I would know. <laughs> there we go, yeah, so that's the one there, so there's a haystack there. Um, and there's some horses on so yes yeah, so that's the right one for them but they also bought another one as well so it would mean me having to go and find another one as well because I have to send the two of them together so to go back um, check it again because a lot of people have actually bought more than one so that's where it becomes confusing sometimes. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So she's bought this one as well. So that's the one with actually nothing on it at all. So I just need to pop over now and go and find. Right, so I'm just going to be wrapping this one up because I found the right two. I'm always wrapping up in this sort of like fish and chip paper you call it. Packaging paper. It always keeps it really well. So yeah, so just doing that for now. So yeah, so obviously it's not very glamorous, is it? I always put it into one of these bags. So big one of these big poly bags. Stick it in there. Take the tape off. So it's 
secure and it's in a bag and then that's ready to go in another bag pop it into that bag there so nice and secure nice and sealed three bags in case anything happens like the postman sort of like drops it or something I hope they don't get in there just have to be careful with things so it's now packed up like that then all I have to do now is just go and I don't have a, a um a printer, a thermal printer. It's something that I'm looking into eventually, but at the moment I've um, decided not to do that one. So if we just go back, it should take me back to it and just go into there. So I bought the two, so it shouldn't be hard to find. She's the only one bought two. Just to always double check to make sure that I have got the right ones, but I'm sure that they're exactly the right ones. Yep. And again. Yep. So I just do it manually. I just <laughs> write <laughs> the um, labels. And I use the big labels as well, so I cut them because that's way too big. And usually I try and cut them straight. So yeah, so I just use a label like that. And I just put it on. The reason I do this is because I know that obviously labels are good. Um, that you've got a thermal printer label and they just print. But I find that if I know that I've written this address myself, then I know that it will get to the rightful owner myself because I've written it so if I make a mistake it's my mistake but I'm usually pretty good um, so I'm just going to write his address and then once we've done that um, let's just write this quickly Check. And then obviously make sure with the postcode that it's the right postcode. So yeah, that's that done. So that's two done. Pop it on there. And that's done. Now just mark it as dispatch because I'm gonna put it I'm gonna send it very quickly anyway. And that's it and then obviously I then go to home again and it should have taken it off so it should have taken it off so go to selling yeah so it's taken it off so what I'll do now is I'll just go through all of my Britons so that's the easiest way to do it because obviously I've just sold two and I did sell some others as well. So I sold the miniature gardens as well. I think I showed that a few videos ago. Well, quite a few videos ago now. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, and that was like little gardens, sort of like flowers and things, and mixed things for um, the floral garden, which are going, again is Britons. So yeah, so we've got that one. So just going to. Get this one out. So it's like things like this with the little sort of like flowers and things. And obviously, I bag it all up so I know what I'm sending. So there's that one there, and there's that one there. So, yeah, so that's all going to be bagged up again. I prefer to protect it this way. First, protect them so I always wrap them in. I've got a fish and chip wrapper, I suppose, in a way. So I always wrap it up. 
Hebrew. Depends usually two usually. It depends how many kind of there is, but usually about two. So I wrap it up like that. Quite like wrap it up some chips, really, isn't it? Then I always fold in the both. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look the most glamorous, but at the end of the day, it keeps it secure. It keeps it secure, and it means that when you come to send in it, it's not that bad. Sorry about the noise. So always do that. You usually do it about twice around. Lovely noise making there, isn't it? Yeah, so do that and then again, like I did with the other one, always do it across. Then if I feel that it needs a bit more secure, I'll just close it again. Again, not so glamorous, but at least an extra secure. And then I put it into one of these bags. These big poly bags here. Put it into there, pop it in. And I always make sure that when you do a poly bag, is that you tighten it so it's the air, because it's always the air as well with posters and stuff. Especially if it's like... Like it's uh, finished like a large letter, like a t-shirt or something, and the air's not quite out of it. I mean, my post, my post was actually pretty good, but there are other posts obviously that will just probably creep through as a parcel, it could have gone as a large letter because it's just the air, so always make sure that the air is out of it. So that's it then. And then we pop it into a bag, like I said before. So one of these bags, I pop it into there. Over, as you can hear the air there, <coughs> there's quite a lot of air in that one. Pop it over and you find the um, what is his name? So it is here, and I will just literally do the label. write it on here so and that's the next one done so, yeah so that's what I do so kind of like as I say I have sold so much today like I've got so much to do but that's kind of the gist that I do how I pack things um, and I'll come back to you a bit later I'll just get going on some of them and then when we come to the 80s and 90s stuff um yeah we'll do that but um i'll just pack a few more i'll be back in a bit hi right, guys so i'm doing the disney bundle I sold all my disney figures as a big bundle so yeah so sold the disney figures for 40 pounds which is pretty good actually because it's not cost a lot of it anyway. No, a lot of them are in bundles anyway, so and it's going overseas. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to do it into two parcels because obviously this is going to go global shipping. So rather than send it in one parcel because that would be just way, way too expensive to send, I'm going to send it as two small parcels and then when it gets to the depot they can then sort it out. And obviously if you put on if you, you put on the, the same address on each one and the actual same number then it will get there. And they'll figure it out with two of them because I won't do one. It's just too expensive. It's gonna be a fortune. So they weigh quite a bit. So I'm just putting all the Disney little Disney things in here. I don't know that's Mulan, isn't it? 
And I think like Cinderella as well. She's very nice. So yeah, so we're just putting him. And that's Pluto. That's Pluto who's sort of got bendy. He's a bendy Pluto, he is. So we've got him. And then yeah, we just got this one which I never figured out what that one was from either. So yeah. So I think you might just know why. I think. We've got Ariel. So just all little Disney stuff. And when I came across some other Disney stuff as well, which I did in the other boxes that I had, I just stuck that in as well because I thought that at the end of the day, you know. I didn't put it I, I didn't photograph all that's good on me, but there's she's gonna get a few more bits than she anticipated. <laughs> so yeah. I think that was from finding Nemo, isn't it? Yeah, she's got a really strange name, can't remember what her name is at the moment. But yeah, she's the one that forgets things, a bit like me then, isn't it? I can't remember her name. Oh yeah, and that's um, Disney Pixar, little Bo Peep with her little crook. So, and then we've got some really, really tiny ones. So we've got, obviously, we've got little Chip. I think it's Chip from Dale. So we've got that one. Then we've got this one I think is from Frozen. Um, I don't know what that one is. And this is Mrs. Mrs. Potts. Can you see? Mrs. Potts there. So yeah. <laughs> oh and uh, I know this one. Flounder. From M M Mermaid isn't it? So yeah, so there's lots, there's lots there. And then that's um, Bullseye isn't it? From um, so yeah, so a pretty good deal there I think. Obviously we got this is from Beauty and the Beast. I'm just gonna do that in two because I know it's gonna cost a fortune anyway to spend. And it's going Obviously international as well. So if I just that's them both wrapped up now. As you can see, both wrapped up. So yeah. So I'll do exactly the same as I did with the other ones where I just put them down here. Wrap them up like fish and chips. Oh, Northern, can't you? No! <laughs> this is tip paper. I love that noise, it's so satisfying, isn't it? <coughs> satisfying that you're actually sending a parcel. And that you've made a sale. It's always a good thing. As I said, I didn't did all these on auction, so I literally did them all on auction. No bite nows, all auction. So yeah, so that's one done, and then another one. I do have a bigger bag as well, so but I'll put them in smaller bags if I can and I would say send them as to individual small parcels because I know for a fact that if I sent them all in one it would cost a fortune. Probably like over ten pounds or something. And you know, if you've heard of obviously with my Hermes have changed to this every they don't have a very good reputation at the moment. There's been a few people on YouTube, sort of like, you know, putting bad press about them on. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just hoping that all these can be sent by post. As far as I don't really want to, I would do my home usually. But I don't really want to. 
because I don't want things getting lost. I don't want people getting annoyed at me, <laughs> you know, because like it is annoying if your parcel doesn't turn up. At least with Royal Mail, you have your you have your receipt, you have your proof of postage. And you know, people say don't it doesn't turn up. Well you do know that you know you can check on Royal Mail website and actually check that it did turn up. So yeah, so I think you've got more well I think you've got more sort of like, you know a better way to actually check things on Royal Mail. So yeah. So that's two there done. That's just going to go to a depot, but I'll still put in both two in two bags because then at least I know then that I've done my bit and make sure that they're protected enough. So yeah, so they're protected there. Just take it all the way around. There we go, there's one. So that's one and two. I get most of my packaging supplies from Amazon. Um, I need to look into the eBay thing. I do have a shop and I know that I can get some sort of right like, shipping things from eBay but I haven't actually looked into it yet so I don't know if any of you guys can tell me how you can get shipping items. <laughs> I do have a shop on eBay so I do pay for my shop each month. So yeah, so as you can see that's one and there's another one there and what I'm going to do is put them into these bags which they should be into these bags. <coughs> um, yeah. That's one. And that's two. going to send those to find out I know they're going to go to the depot um, which correct me if I'm wrong but I will forget it yeah in Litchfield Staffordshire just the, the, the actual depot that it goes to so I'll do two of these, make sure they go to the right one. As I say, if I were to put the name, they give you a reference number, so if you put a reference number on it as well, they should both get to the same place and they should be able to sort them out from there. So yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. I'll uh, have a few more to show you. Hi, hi guys, back again. So I've done about eight parcels I think so I'm just starting on all the 90s 80s 90s and naughty figures so there's a Digimon in this one that Digimon one uh, he's actually from um, Bob the Builder I believe and yeah there's quite a lot in here there's a Thunderbird some little um, Infinity things, I think they're called, aren't they? Infinities. And then we've got the Mr. Impossible guy as well. So yeah, which is in, which is impossible. Which is impossible. Anyway, all those guys in there. So yeah, we've got them. These as well. The mask is in here, and there's a bike. It's a Power Rangers bike, obviously. So yeah, so we did the bundles where 
Um, I'll stand back a bit. We did the bundles where, um, yeah, they're just um, a battle cap from He Man. So I've got that one. And this one looks like the Gremlin spawn. A bit like Stripe, I think, out of um, the Gremlin. Not what you guys think. But yeah. So I'm going to wrap all those up for him now. Neither bought them. Yeah, I'll be back with the next one. Right guys, so um, I've got a very big order actually, look at this. All these are all going to be in one bundle. Somebody got three bundles and I've literally just managed to fit them all in this one here. So we've got Robin, the Terminator guy, Arnie. This is part of Spawn. I've got another Spawn there. Digimon, He Man. So these all went for 100 and 120. We paid for three bundles. So that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're all going to a good home. Then we'll get some use out of them. As I said before, I've already made my money back on all my bundles. So this is all pure profit for me. Um, and it's always a good good way as well to do things right guys so as i was saying so yeah so we've got all these so quite a lot isn't there so 120 that what went for so i'm just going to pack that up now as you can see there's quite a teenage mutant hero turtles there's some marvels in there these are have ghostbusters power rangers even that guy from lazy town sporticus i think his name was wasn't he so yeah and I believe he's called Luna Jim, isn't he? So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to parcel these up now and get them. I have to go buy my Hermes, these ones, which I don't really want to do. But it'll cost me 40 if I send it in the post. So, yeah. Okay. Talk to you soon. So, guys, all this here, somebody's purchased this as well. Again, over £100 was spent. He did three bundles. So yes, yeah, so I've just got to parcel this together. I'm going to have to put it in a box, I think. I've had to put two in a box already, as you can see. So yeah, so one's going to go overseas as well. So that's going to cost somebody a pretty penny to get over. I've just got to put it to the depot. Thank God. <laughs> but yeah, um, so these ones obviously are all the 90s and 80s. Again, Spawn, Power Rangers. You can see them all in here. The Power Ranger guy there. Um, Superman. Some like um, Rugrats. And uh, there's a bike here. Uh, some Marvel characters, a few turtles. So I mixed it up pretty well. I did a mixed bag. Tried to mix them up as possible. And some He Man here. Obviously, he's from He Man. So. And there's a He-Man here as well. So there you go. So I've got a pretty good deal there, I think. So yeah. So I've got the parcel. All that. Wish me luck. Right, guys. So that's me finished. I've done them all. Wrapped them all up. Ready to go. Whew. That was an afternoon. Anyway. So yeah, so all finished now guys, and it's nearly six o'clock, so yeah, thanks for joining me, um, sorry it's a bit itty bitty, um, but I just thought I would show you what I do, um, I've got another video coming out actually in a few days, obviously I went to Eastbourne a few days ago, so that will be up soon, and this video will be out after that video, <laughs> so yeah, but thanks very much guys, thanks a lot. Take care, and if you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing or giving it a like, thumbs up, or a notification if you want to ever be um, notified if I'm doing a bring up another video. Okay, guys, oh, weary. <laughs> I know it's life, isn't it? You know, we can't all be glamorous all the time, and you know, <laughs> it's hard work sometimes being in a, a reseller, but I love it anyway, so yeah. Okay guys, take care, bye.